All right, this one's a, a kind of a funny, sad story. And I'm, I'm going to summarize it. It's a little complicated, but I'll summarize it for you. Um, so there's a guy named, uh, there's a guy named uh, Ryan Cohen. Now, Ryan Cohen is a, um, he, he's the chairman of the board of GameStop. He is, in general, kind of a meme stock influencer. I've talked about meme stocks in the past. And he's an activist. And um, he bought, in, in, in early 2022, he bought a 9.8% stake for $121 million in Bed Bath & Beyond, right? And he announced that he had this position. And when he did announce it, you know, uh, the stock went up 34% in one day. Um, and uh, when he announced that he had bought it. Uh, and... But then the stock declined, and he was actually losing money. He was he was under the water in terms of uh, his uh, his stake. In August of last year, he redisclosed that he owned those shares. Now, why did he redisclose? Because GameStop stupidly, sorry, Bed Bath and Beyond stupidly had bought back some shares. By buying by buying back shares, taking shares off of the market, his stake. And the company actually rose from 9.8 to 11.8 percent. He gained two percent, even though he didn't buy any shares. But the law says that once you cross the 10 percent threshold, you have to you have to uh, announce that you own. So he put out 13D, which is the the SEC form uh, that basically said I own 11.8 percent. I didn't buy any shares, but now I own 11.8 percent. And, and he literally said in the report, there have been no transactions and securities for the issuer by the reported persons during the past 60 days. Haven't bought any new shares. Anyway, um, because he announced it, and it's a meme stock, the price jumped up to $23. This is the day after the filing. At which point, he sold all his stock. So over the next few days, over that day, in the 16th to 17th, basically he sold all of his stock at almost $23 per share on average and made a profit of $70 million. Now, once that was revealed, the stock collapsed, never closed above 15 again, and ultimately fought for bankruptcy. Now, okay, is this insider trading? Is this stock manipulation? Is this illegal? Well, he's being sued. He's being sued for manipulating the shares. And the basis for the argument for manipulating shares is one, that he made this disclosure, even though by law he had to make the disclosure. But second is a really funny one. So. There was a tweet um, of, uh, you know, a tweet on August 12th where somebody, uh, somebody said, Loop Capital says Bed Bath & Beyond, comeback doesn't make fundamental sense, stock headed to $1. True statement. There's a picture there with a woman with a cart that's overflowing. Ryan Cohen retweets this and comments, at least her cart is full. Well, okay. But then, then, he puts a little smiley face next to it. Now, supposedly this isn't a smiley face. This is supposedly a moon emoji. It's a round with a little smiley thing. Right? Now, the lawsuit, it's claiming that, and here's the, here's the quote, some online communities understand the smiley moon emoji to mean to the moon. Or take it to the moon. In other words, according to the, those who are suing, Cohen was telling his hundreds of thousands of followers that Bed Bath stocks was going up and that they should buy a hold. They did so, sending the price soaring. Right? Now, on August 12th, when he actually published this, the stock did go up a little bit. But it's only after 30D that it really went up a lot and he sold. <laughs> now, so the emoji is the signal and that's stock manipulation 
putting that emoji there. Now, he's been sued over this, and, um, uh, you know, he filed a motion to dismiss this lawsuit because it's a little ridiculous. And uh, the federal, a federal judge, Trevor McFadden, has denied his motion to dismiss, claiming that, no, there's some reasonability here. Um, you know, it's plausibly alleged that the Moon tweet, I'm reading from the, from the judge's opinion, tweet relayed that Cohen was telling his hundreds of thousands of followers that Bed Bath & Beyond stock was going up and, and that they should buy a hold in the meme stock subculture. Moon emojis are associated with the phrase to the moon, which the investors used to indicate that. Da, da, da. So meme stock investors conceivably understood Cohen's tweet to mean that Cohen was confident in Bed Bath and was encouraging them to act. For example, one investor replied in, in, in Twitter. Um, well, it's not Twitter anymore. It's X. But so one, one uh, thing said, it said, buy BBBY, which is the ticker for thing. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> um, and then, so it's plausible that this was an action to manipulate and in order to sell. <sighs> and then he goes on to the 13D. Taking the complaint as true, Coins amended 13D was materially misleading as well. Was it? Investors filing 13 days have a duty to disclose any solid plans to sell their stock, but maybe he didn't have a solid plan to sell the stock. How are you going to prove that? Maybe he just saw the price go up and he said, oh, cool, I should sell because who knows what's going to happen later. I mean, this is the nuttiness of our security laws that you can sue over something like this. And I have no sympathy for Cohen who is a stock manipulator for, in a variety of different ways and responsible for a lot of the meme stock nuttiness and insanity and irrationality, which he is now suffering from as part of this lawsuit. So I have little sympathy for him, but this is ridiculous.